two uninhabited Pacific islands. More than 5,000 miles from the UK. One will be inhabited by 14 British men, while a separate island will be home to 14 British women. For six weeks, they'll be utterly alone. Stingray's one, survivor's nail. With only the clothes they stand up in... Guys! <gasps> ..and a handful of basic tools, filming everything themselves. When pushed to the limits of human endurance... Hey, look, you can see Piers' heart beating through his rib. ..will it be brute power... Oh, three. ..or mental strength that wins the day? We found two tins of baked beans! <laughs> who will have what it takes to stay alive. Tonight, we follow the women's island. <laughs> Survival will be harder than ever. They'll have to find water and hunt for their own food. That is the biggest shaka I've ever seen. Living on the island in the middle of tropical storm season. How on earth are we expected to survive in this? when pitted against the extremes of nature. Hello! And these Monday women got what it takes to survive. Guys, come back here really slowly. There, 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 there. It's been almost three weeks since I dropped 14 women off on this remote Pacific island. Radio in now. Medic now. They're three people down. I thought we should hang on in there. And with fewer women to hunt and food running dangerously low... But surely I'm going to die soon. Spar owner Abby, one of the oldest of the women, has kept the group together. Do not eat them. No, they're so cute. I don't care that they're cute. She encouraged the others to make a difficult but necessary survival choice. <laughs> to eat their pet pigs. I don't know about anyone else, but I feel like a wild animal. <laughs> What's your assessment of the situation, hairdresser? There's a vocabulary for hairdressers, so as not to offend the client. So I'm always subtle in my work, so I'd say it's <laughs> had it. <laughs> After weeks on the island, stripped of all luxuries, Abby is improvising in her island salon with a novel blue rinse. It's probably permanent boat paint or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Basins are over there, the junior will see to it. Quite happy now I've done a bit of hairdressing. Oh, look at the colour of the sea. That's <laughs> what we want to swim in. <laughs> In a group like this, when you're really starving and struggling, all you need is that one person to kind of shine a little beacon of light and say something really witty and funny. And Abby is that person. It's £95, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, the oven's broken. Thanks, chef. Oh, my God. It's been days since the women ate the piglets and they haven't had a decent meal since. Can I have it with sand, please? <laughs> I don't think I've got enough sand in my mouth. Sand. They're back to eating scraps of foraged coconut and yucca and starvation isn't far away. Do you believe it was actually on fire? Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that's a really burnt one, George. Do you want a different one, darling? Yeah, I'll try like this, love. With some eating as little as a dangerously low 200 calories a day. Any stores they started off with have basically gone. So the women need to go all out to increase their food intake. And their lives are going to depend on that. I've probably got to spit that out. Is it too burnt? Yeah. That's disgusting. I was saying a couple of days ago in jest that I feel like my body's digesting itself, but I jest no more. I am eating myself from the inside. I'm just hoping that we can get some food. Do you know what my favourite thing to do at the minute is? I go to the imaginary supermarket in my head with a shopping trolley, empty, and go up and down the aisles and do shopping. I spent about 10 minutes in the jam and condiments section yesterday. Did you? Mm -hmm. What did you get? Well, 
Well, I, I mean, I went to the, I bought marmalade. I got shredded and smooth in the end because mm. I didn't know what to do. And I was going along because I'd obviously bought the imaginary pate, so then I needed to debate which imaginary condiment would go best. And then I got to the bakery and I didn't know whether I wanted crusty bread or soft bread. This is the mind of a lunatic. In terms of survival skills, I think I'm quite mentally strong and I don't think there's much that will rattle me, but then I've never really been pushed to my limits before. And the biggest challenge is being able to go for a long period without a good dinner in my belly. I don't think myself as a natural hunter-gatherer, but in 34 years, nothing's got between me and a meal yet. So if there's food on that island, I'll find it. <laughs> Unable to digest yucca, the women's breakfast is not agreeing with Georgina. I'm being sick again, I can't stop. Oh, my God! I don't know what I'm... There's nothing to sick up, though, is there? Are you drinking enough? Yeah, I've just tried to drink a little more. It's driving me mad. Camp doctor Belinda is concerned about Georgina's condition. George literally exists on a couple of limpets a day and maybe a couple of snails. She does not eat more than about that much tiny square of coconut a day. So she's probably consuming under 20 calories per day. And it's just not sustainable. Georgina's inability to digest their limited diet means she could be putting her vital organs at risk. It had some retching. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is one of the major reasons why I'm worried about your kidneys. Just get your temperature. I mean, I, literally, I can literally feel my muscles within my body wasting away. Uh, I might just heard that was my stomach window. I just need to get some food. Just something. Because if I don't want then it could be end game for me, really, with regards to being on the island. Off we go. Everyone is now pitching in to try and find protein that they can share with Georgina. A group led by Abby are scouring the shoreline. They're very hard to get off. For the size of that monster. Can I have a try? You can. Just have a try at just banging it. Do you say that to your boyfriend? Yeah. <laughs> Limp it. So you've got the cool, the warms and the naturals, so that's got a slight lilac tinge in it, but it's nice. I run my own business. Sales for the last month is really, really good. You know, I like being in charge of people and a team. I'll work at something till I am successful at it. I have a bad back. It causes me quite a lot of problems and quite a lot of pain. I get through it and I don't let it stop me doing anything at the more. I'll snow ski, I'll ride, I'll push myself. Good lad. First day we came up, yeah. they were on that back wall. Just no bloody limpets. It's like we've eaten them all. One yeah. down yeah, there. Yeah, well, I'm not going down it's there to really get that. I'm not risking my life to get a friggin' limpet. No chance. With limpets few and far between, the women desperately need to find a protein-rich meal for Georgina. Get the knife! Get the knife! What is that? Get the, get the machete! Where's the machete? Just get the fucking machete. Georgia spotted a stingray in the shallows. Wow, it's fast. Oh, no chance. How fast did that move? That was like lightning fast. Where did the box go? The miss has cost them a potential 4,000 calorie meal. We would have had a proper belly food, you know, proper belly food, as opposed to this much dried coconut every day. Georgina must once again go to bed hungry. But she's not the only one who's suffering. I've got pants. My pillow and smelly socks. 47 year old Abby has been dealing with back pain since a horse riding accident in her teens. Oh, God. Oh. Abby's not happy, she's in pain. 
So I hope she's OK. Since arriving on the island, she's been sleeping on the hard ground. I have nowhere comfortable I can go. Honestly, it's laying down on the floor. I think my back's absolutely screwed. It's really hard to explain because it's not something you can see. And it is my health and it's not something that anyone can help me with. I don't want to be a liability to anyone else and not be able to do the things that I came to do, which was to help and be a grafter. scales here. I've calibrated them and set the dial to zero. But it's all the women's health that's a concern for Dr Belinda. After noticing the steep decline in Georgina's physical condition, she wants to closely monitor the group's weight loss. Harvey! I used to go to Slimming Club, right, every Harvey. Monday. I feel like I'm back there. That's... If I am ten and a half stone today, I'll be a happy bunny. 135 pounds. Got my goal. In 21st century Britain, we're all obsessed with body image. But when the pounds are dropping off because of starvation and malnutrition, it's a dangerous mindset to have. And it really is not a cause for celebration. But you can see your waist this tiny turn round. Let me see your tiny little waist. Oh, look at that little waist. <laughs> <laughs> George. You've lost a lot. God, you're wasting away, aren't you, sweetheart? I have to say, I don't find starvation a good way of losing weight. I don't think we should be celebrating. <laughs> I just don't find starvation a sexy way to get skinny. Georgina has lost a dangerous 21 pounds in weight, and collectively, the group have lost almost 10 stone, the weight of an entire person. We're at a critical stage where our bodies have got no food and so can't sustain themselves. We're not on a diet. We're starving. Concerned about their dramatic weight loss, Georgina calls the group together. I do feel like I may have nosedived in terms of uh, food deprivation a lot quicker than the rest of you. I can see that I've been a lot weaker than the rest of you. And I really do think that food still needs to be number one priority. I just don't know how long we can sustain five limpets. I don't Last think we can. I think we're all a little bit in denial about how critical it is that we start finding food. The need to find protein for Georgina is now urgent. With only a few hours of daylight left, a group led by Lauren are setting traps in the hope of snaring a pig. Nice little track, isn't it? Unless you're wanting to survive off shredded old pits of coconut and the older yucca plant, then it's time to face up to the facts that I'm going to have to maybe, you know, get a bit brutal. Are you ready? Yeah, it works. Yeah. And shine beautiful. It's a glorious day. 7 a.m. And the women have endured another bad night's sleep. Oh, I do In pain, 47-year-old Abby confides in her closest friend Beth. Every night when I said this is the time I dread, because I'm so uncomfy. Mm. Even just turning from my back to my right, it's like a knife going into the nerve. It's like, ah. Oh. I'm now really concerned. She hasn't really moaned. One of Abby's problems is that she's worried that she doesn't, she doesn't like giving up. She likes to keep going and keep going. And she's such a hard worker. She's just fucking amazing. Let's see what's in this sucker. She's a proper proper grafter, and I love that. But her mind is saying one thing and her body's saying something else and she's got to listen to her body. At camp, Abby calls an urgent meeting. 
over the last few days, my back's gone downhill massively to the point where I'm in a lot of pain and it's now worse than it's ever been. I know certain people here kind of said, do less, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be happy doing less. But the fact is, I have to get off the island because I'm not helpful to you anymore. I'm really sorry and I feel like a shit. She can't believe it. I'm, I'm just completely shocked. I knew that she was in pain. I knew that she's having back pain, but it's just happened so fast. I'm really gutted to see you go because I think we could have done really well here with you, and I think we'd be a little bit weaker without you. I would be lying if I said there wasn't a part of me now that is completely terrified because there is only 10 of us. Just everything now is going to be completely harder. And I can't imagine how we're going to get through and we're going to feed ourselves. I think hunger's going to become such a problem. And me, Bessie, mate. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So sad. I'm annoyed for, like, for her that she had to go because of her back. And then I'm annoyed for me. That I'm gonna have to stay out here. But we just got on really well, and it was just really nice to know that she was there. Bye. Oh, I miss you already. Come back. I don't know about you, but I felt thoroughly fed up. Yeah. I felt as a group get smaller and smaller. You're like, how how are we meant to do this? Exactly. That's exactly. How on earth are we meant to do this? Exactly. Yeah, it's shit. It's really shit. The group has lost Abby, one of their most valued members. Now they'll each have to work even harder to find food for 34-year-old Georgina, who is dangerously weak from starvation. I don't have the patience for that, Lauren. Neither do I, really, but I really want to eat something. The women haven't caught a single fish since they first stepped foot on the island. They're attempting to set nets for the first time. I'm literally solely focused on getting through the days and getting food, and I'm going to go after it, and I'm going to get it, and I'm going to get it for the other girls as well, you know? I feel sorry for George because he's just been absolutely nailed by illness. And so failure is not an option. Whoa! That's not even stable at all. Okay. On a desert island, one of your best sources of food is obviously going to come from the sea. But none of the women are experienced in sea fishing. So the reality is it's going to take them hours and hours of painstaking trial and error being patient if they're going to hone their skills. It's as sturdy as we're going to get it. Who knows? Could be fish tonight. It's now 12 hours since Lauren and the group set the nets. I'm hoping that we've got about 10 fish in our net. Come on, net. Do us good. Do us good. Their last hope of feeding Georgina tonight rests on a decent haul. There's one of our floats. Do you know, the maybe... net's here. Is it? Is there a fish in it? No. Ah, oh, bastard. That's such a shame. I don't know whether we'll ever be able to untangle that knot. How the fuck are we going to catch fish? I feel pathetic today. No. Honestly, well, I, haven't I haven't been able to function at all today. With no fish and Georgina's health hanging in the balance, it's a race against time to find food. To make sure these women have a fighting chance of survival, I've made sure that the island's got enough water, indigenous animals and vegetation on it to keep them alive, but only if they've got the ingenuity to find it, catch it and kill it. Crossed. Yesterday, Lauren and Beth set animal traps in the island's jungle interior. They're going back to see if they've been successful. It's 
something has eaten the bait but not set off the trap. Got the knife. It's not a game and it's a long time without food and we can't survive without food. I think it's about time that, you know, we get out there and start hunting some animals. One of my main things that's pushing me for this challenge is finding out who I am. Can I survive? Can I hunt for my own food? But we don't do that nowadays. Oh. Super cheesy lasagna. What we've got on? Cheesy dip. It's just some cheesy dip. Put some tomatoes. Just think it's getting back to our animalistic roots and what happens if you have to go hunting for it, kill it yourself, skin it or whatever, and then cook it. It's been set off. It has. <gasps> Oh, oh, my my God. God, oh, my God. Oh, my God. They've caught a pig by its leg in one of their traps. Oh, that is one huge pig. I can't believe that. Before killing it, Lauren and Beth decide to return to camp <laughs> to plan and prepare their tools. Oh, my God, we're going to eat tonight. I know. Like we've never eaten before. Georgie, we've caught one. We've caught a pig. You are kidding me. No. Because oh, there's a pig in the trap. We've literally oh. walked in and heard it's this right noise. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Everybody needs that food, but I recognise that I really need that food. It's a little bit of a mental feeling. And who knew that a pig in a snare would... Uh, would feel like such an emotional thing. We're just going to have to absolutely throw our bodies at it. Don't look at it in the eye, don't have your eyes wide and looking at it, so don't show any of your teeth, approach it really quietly. OK. And so once we've got it on the ground, we need to tie its hooves together and we also need to loose its neck, so someone will have to be pulling on its neck. Does anyone else want to kill the pig? I don't feel confident that I could. I don't know enough. If you need help at any stage, I'm more than happy to help. Yeah. OK. At the minute, I'm the only one in the group that could actually physically kill an animal because no one else wants to do it. And so I feel that's a responsibility as well. I don't see them as an animal anymore, which is so strange for me. I love animals to pieces, but I just feel completely detached from that now. It's been over an hour since Lauren and Beth found the pig in the trap. A decisive kill is now crucial to the whole group. I'm going to go for the head. The head over the legs. I'm ready to get the two coming in the news and on the other side of the leg. So we've got it. Get it. <laughs> Around this side, Beth, and around this side. But it's, it's trapped. Okay, right. Here's a move. Hang on. Right, jump over. It's stuck. It's up to you. Beth. <laughs> Try and. Oh, shit. We lived and learned on that one. I think you need to get on him quicker. I feel like I fucked that one up. Damn it! Damn it, could have bloody and now I feel like we let down everybody else. You know, the ones waiting at camp thinking, oh, they've got a pig and we're eating tonight. And George isn't very well, she's being sick. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. How much we got? Not enough. Could do with a bit more of everything. Maybe around the next bit, but I think we've exhausted this little section. With the hunter failure, Georgina has no choice but to join Georgie and Becky on another bleak search for shellfish. So hot, isn't it? Yeah, it's really humid. Really hot. Already weak from malnutrition, 
the effort is further depleting Georgina's dangerously low reserves. The function of my being is struggling. I just feel like the switch has been turned off every time I stand up. I don't really know what to can do about it either. It's, it's like a vicious circle. You need the energy to get the food. But you haven't got the energy without the food. Honestly, I don't know where these girls are getting their energy from. Swim time! It certainly is. Go for a swim, babe. Yeah. I'm just really worried about how weak I am. I just don't want to be the person who's like a dead weight. You're not going to be. And you're not going to be. I feel like I am. Not. It's just so not like me. Honestly, it's like the lights have gone off and it's really, um, it's really quite alarming. Listen, you, you are not, listen. You are not leaving this island, right? For one, listen to but me. I do. Listen, no, listen. You are not leaving this island to the fucking end game, right? I don't, I don't care if I have to carry you on my fucking back, and nor does she. And you would. And I would. <laughs> and I would. I'm really, really worried about Georgie Kay. Um, literally, I'm, I'm watching her deteriorate before my eyes. She's not eating the yucca. She's not very keen on the limpets. And I'm just really worried she's not going to make it, to be honest. The one thing we need for George is food. So who knows, maybe we can get one more Island Miracle um, and turn George's face around, which would be amazing. So far, all the women's attempts at hunting and fishing on the island have failed. Oh, look! They caught no dog. Yeah. Desperately hungry, They've resorted to scavenging for nourishment on the beach. Budweiser! Full of seawater. Oh. What's that? Some perfume. Some men's perfume. Smell that. Oh, now I'm getting horny! <laughs> oh, first time I've thought about a man. Jamie could hump this smell. Maybe if you wear that, I might start humping you. Oh, God. <laughs> the women have been living on an extreme low calorie diet for weeks, and the health of one of the group is causing grave concern. I'm really worried about Joy. She sleeps all the time, she's been sick, she's just not well. I don't know whether she's going to last. Who am I going to talk about food with? We can't afford to lose anyone else in this group. One rich source of food on the island is its bird life. Catching one of the island's larger birds could mean 2,000 calories to share with Georgina. Now, I have no idea if this will work. We can only try. Psychotherapist Havela has fashioned a bird trap out of a stick, some string and a coconut. I'm going to put my trap in here. This is quite good territory. Birds are often flocking here. We don't want to get nice, pretty birds. But to lure her prey, she's going to need bait. Where is the hermit crab? I don't want to do this. Very good at machetes. Hello, beautiful. Go on, go to daddy. One, two, three. My dad has been a pigeon racer from a young age, so I understand birds. I know how to handle them, I know what to do. And if it comes to it, I'll uh, kill one. No, 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 no. I wouldn't take any pleasure from it. I don't really want to kill anything, but I could if I'm hungry. In those situations, what needs to be done needs to be done. Yeah, I've done it, so I've killed it. Havila will need to return in the morning. So dinner tonight will be once again a handful of limpets at around seven calories a pop.
So I think we've got five each, and I think. I don't know if you want to count them up. Wow. Pop that in your mouth. Thank you, Big Hoss. It's like a lollipop, I can't think yeah, of it. I know what it's like, and it's not a lollipop. From here, it looks like a bell end. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes like her boyfriend's ball. <laughs> How I would imagine a testicle to yeah. taste. And those limpets, bloody hell, oh my god. It reminded me of if I was to put my boyfriend's testicle in my mouth and take a bite, the, like a rubbery consistency and then a pop of like juice and goo. And oh my god, I now can't get that image out of my head. It makes me gip thinking about it. By the way, she's never tea bagged her. What does tea bagging mean? <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to explain that one? Put the testicles in your mouth. Why? Uh, <laughs> why not? Jilly, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you dirty bitch. Classy. Another day, and once again, no breakfast. Who'd like some pancakes and bacon? Oh, yes. Pancakes, bacon, maple syrup. Stop. George, can I get you anything? Ravaged by hunger, Georgina is too frail to leave camp. Check again. I'm absolutely floored by what I can only presume is malnutrition. I don't want to be the one who's ill or sickly because I'm not that person at home. There's enough people need feeding and drinking without just having a dead weight to carry. Okay. So it's not nice, but if there is a birdie there, I need to take a knife. Haviler's bird trap, if successful, could provide a much needed meal. You killed birds before, H. Yeah, but I don't like doing it. <laughs> it kind of was enforced on me as a child. Insects have eaten your bait. <laughs> trial and error, Georgie, trial and error. But I need to go away and rethink it. I think we are actually starving, you know. You'd never sit at home and think, oh, I'll just have one limpet today. Or I won't eat today. I'll eat in three weeks. It just doesn't happen. With Havila's bird trap a failure, there's no choice but to venture back into the jungle. We're going to set some pig traps so we can get some pigs. What's your favourite type of pork? Um, I think it's got to be pork pork, but done right. Having come so close to making a kill 24 hours ago, Lauren, Beth and Belinda are back on the trail of the pig. Oh, let's try and find some tracks and track it up. It could be their only hope of keeping Georgina on the island. Here's the uh, dead-eating crab, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's been here snuffling. <gasps> uh, stop. On that branch right in front of you, darling, is a, a boa. Massive boa. Yeah. See, just this branch here. Yeah. Look at the top. Wow. Should we try and catch it? Yes. I'm happy to go for The boa constrictor snake is a formidable foe. This guy will kill its prey by biting, grabbing, then wrapping and suffocating, and then will swallow it whole. They're very fast, they can strike half their body length, and you do not want to get a snake bite in a survival situation. You see him? I think he's gone actually inside, going down, so he's probably going to come out in a minute. Well, he's out. Okay, he's coming out. down! Sorry. He's out. Oi. OK, now he's in striking mode. The way to kill it is to pin its head. If you control the head, you control the body. And then either stave his head in with a rock or cut his head off with a machete. But if you can catch them, this is great survival food. Look at all the meat on this guy. Ooh. Right, there we go, there's your... 
Well done, Beach. Got him. Well done, well done, well done. Forget I didn't get him. I didn't, I didn't get him. I didn't oh, get she him. didn't, she didn't. Man, you can even just do a machete on him. Hold. Okay. No. Hold. Good, good one, good one. Well done, well done, well done. OK, well done, guys. Well done, well done. Yeah! We seized the opportunity and just went and did it. Oh, wow. Sorry, Mr Snake. Snake starters followed by limpets and snails. This is really going to lift the spirits on camp, which is great. Let's go home. I wonder when on our jungle trekking days, how many things we went past without knowing. Guys! Yeah. Guys, come back here really fucking slowly. Where are you? Shh. Don't shout. There, 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 there. There. Yeah. You see it? Oh, yeah. Big. Fucking hell. Is it dead? It's not dead, it's just closed its eyes. Here's the thing do we jump it now? Yep. It seems like too much of a gift from the gods not to do it. He's really yeah. party led by Lauren has stumbled across a sleeping pig in the middle of the jungle. It could offer salvation for Georgina, who's desperately malnourished. The law of the jungle really is rooted in opportunity and you've got to take your chances when you can. And the women need to learn from passing decisions and just seize the moment. The stakes are high. If they fail, the group are going to slide further into starvation. This time, they're prepared and have sharp weapons for the kill. You okay, Beth? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna put the knife to the side out of yeah. the way. Yeah, we'll just wait. We'll just wait. Oh, gosh, that's horrible. You're amazing, Lauren. Amazing. Oh, that was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm nervous. No, no, it's no, it's, no, it's no, complete no, adrenaline. You're oh. <laughs> wow. Good work, team. It's quite amazing, wasn't it, really? I'll, I'll never forget this. What a day. That's the most intense 
thing that has ever fucking happened to me in my entire life. For something that was almost caveman-like, we just sort of behaved in this really uniform way that I never thought that I had in me. We're going to eat every single morsel, um, not let one ounce of that little piggy go to waste. H, we caught the pig. Are you kidding? No. That's what that is over there. Are you kidding? I'm not fucking kidding. Oh, my God, mind blown. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God, I'm going to have to... <gasps> And Harvey, we have a starter. Oh my God, I've just seen in that pocket. Starters and me. Do you know what? You guys, you're just more of a woman than I'll ever be, all of you. Did you hear, George? Oh my God, I can't believe it. Shit. My, my adrenaline is like through the roof. Is it going to get caught in the trap? No, I was fast asleep and jumped it. Never. Oh my God. For 34 year old Georgina, the pig means more than just dinner. Yeah, yeah, it's massive. Oh, I'm just so baby talking about food. <laughs> oh, crap, I'm so happy. Can't tell you the feeling of absolute relief that's just ran through my entire body at the thought of having some food. Lauren and Beth obviously doing an incredible job. I just can't believe it. I could not have done that two and a half, three weeks ago. If you'd have put me on the island and I'd seen that ball, I would have done my absolute most to stay away from it. But I'm hungry now, and my mind is not the same mind as it was three weeks ago. The fire's all toasty and ready for it. Even the vegetarian in the group, Jamie, is relieved for Georgina. I love it. It's brilliant. They are big legs on that thing, aren't they? Oh, there's going to be a lot of meat tonight. The women will now have to butcher, skin and carve their kill. It's not pleasant. Dead pig smells inside. I'm like, I'm going to be sick. I've got to do it to survive. Oh, dear. A uh, little bit of shit going on. <laughs> starving are you? The pig will provide the women with roughly 50,000 calories. Some fat, if anyone wants some fat. For the first time, they have more food than they can possibly eat in one sitting. How is it, Jules? Cool. <laughs> we have not eaten like this for, like, over three weeks, and, my God, it's been a long time for me. Could you buy that in a restaurant? That fresh, that's a rib. It's literally get the meat in my mouth now and don't take it away. Mm. It's absolutely Harvey, I can see you eating that with your eyes closed. <laughs> oh, are you having an orgasm while yeah. you're eating it? Do you know what? I've never experienced this in my life. I feel like a savage. I've had so little calories in me every day, and um, th this uh, pig may be my salvation. You're going to turn it round now. This yeah. will help you. I you have always... been rescued by the pig hunters. Yeah. My mother would be appalled if she saw me eating like this. <laughs> Sorry, Mum. The pork's providing the women with a valuable source of protein, fat, vitamins, minerals, but more importantly, it's giving them what I call the golden window of opportunity. The women have about three days to capitalise on that win. This is their chance to improve their quality of life and use that energy to regroup and hunt again. Hello, Mr Snake. Hello, Mr Snake. Oh, look at that. Now for the second course. How are you feeling, Harvey? you want to do it? I'm going to do it. Oh, mate, go for it. And despite her squeamishness, Havila has volunteered to skin the snake. Oh, look at that! It's his esophagus. 
what it is. I love to stuff a turkey at Christmas, and it means you've got to get in the skin. Ready? Like a sock. One, ready? There we go. Wow. So, yeah, go very slow. Yeah, got it. Amazing. I've just skinned a boa constrictor. I'd never do that in my real life. Well done. Not many girls could do that, you know. Yeah. Not many. And if anybody judges any of the girls here for what they've done today, they can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I've been able to help everyone today, and I'm really proud of that. An incredible day, emotionally draining, but the end result is that we have food and we will be able to keep going for that bit longer. Next time on The Women's Island. That is the biggest shock I've ever seen. People are not prioritising the water and it's and pissing me off. The group is completely on their ass. Julie! Julie! I'm so weak. <laughs> We're going to have to pull the plug on this, and I've got to think about removing you all from the island.